Okay, let's just look at the um, the workspace and the app for planner reporting. Um, here we have the home page. Notice the icon. It's also a premium per user um, workspace. This is what we have for content. We've got a scorecard. We've got a management summary, which is the report the scorecard reads. We've got some data here. Um, we've got a report. Um, this is an Excel workbook that's um, based on the data. Um, this is a a paginated report here and this is the dashboard if we look over here we'll see that we publish most of this in the app and we'll just um, go over there now and um, update the app As you can see, the app has a logo. The logo we've uploaded is, is the, the planner logo, and we've made the, the app theme the appropriate color as well. Um, for navigation, we've got the scorecard, the dashboard, management summary report, the group report, the task report, and we've added an additional item which is a link to planner itself so um, that's um, not overly complicated um, let, let's just do an update And this is what it looks like. Um, there's the scorecard at the top, dashboard with a variety of things on it. This is the management summary report. Power BI report itself, plans. Some filters over here. View by buckets, tasks. This is all configurable. Um, here we have a pop up. Um, there's one, there's a, which is an adaptive cut. Here's one with a checklist. The person report. I'm not too sure what we did a task detail for, but here it is. Um, A simple calendar with the months, the Gantt chart, decomposition diagram, which is and there we go, we can This is this is going from the working the working days is always the route here, but you can you can go in in any um, uh, sequence you like with this one. So we can go. Let's start with a plan that's more sensible, and then we can see what the buckets are in that plan, and we can see the people in the plan, and then 
the tasks. Very flexible. I'm sure we could do more than this. This is this is still at the the idea stage. Um, then we have a paginated report. Course can be exported. And last, you can go in and just update Planner as well. So This is totally configurable. You can you can do what you like and put whatever reports on here you feel are necessary. And there's a whole heap of features that you can use here. Um, including subscribe, or you can see that subscribe comment chat in teams this is what it's all about So that's it. It's it's, it's um, once it's configured, it's it's very friendly to the end user. That that's the uh, the main thing about this. Thank you for watching.